Hey everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Homework 4. Um, in this episode, I'm going to skip ahead, um, or skip past this fun 2, and go straight to the, the exercise 2. And the reason for that is because I don't really understand what this function is supposed to do. Um, it seems like uh, there's a typo here or something because they recommend you use iterate or take while, um, which operate on lists, and this function has nothing to do with lists. All it does is a weird spin on the, the Colatz conjecture, which is a conjecture that states that um, either it's been proven or it's just theorized that if you given any n, if you if it's even, divided by 2, and if it's odd, multiply it by 3 and add 1, you'll eventually end up at 0. Um, so this is almost doing that, except it's adding n in the even case, and it just really doesn't make any sense. Um, but really quickly, if you want to kind of play around with the Colatz conjecture, this function, if you cons n onto the beginning of these function calls, and change the type signature. Um, if you want to play around with the Colatz conjecture, that function will do it for you. I'll show you really quick. So again, it's conjectured that um, for any n, you'll eventually arrive at zero. So, um, let's move on. Okay, so exercise two is implementing a simple function called fold tree. It takes a list of A and returns a tree of A. And it generates a balanced binary tree. So, um, for every node, the height of its children will not differ by more than one. Um, and the height of a node um, is given by basically one plus the height of its, of its maximum child. Um, the height of its maximum child. So the, the height here, let me make this bigger for you. The height of F here is zero. Um, the height of C is one. And so the height of i is the maximum of 1 and 0, which is 1, plus 1, so the height of i is 2. The height of j is 3. And the data structure we're given to represent this is a very simple binary tree. Um, or, I'm sorry, type um, one parameter type constructor with um, two value constructors, a leaf, and a node with this extra integer argument that carries around the height. And here's your left tree and your value at that node and your right tree. Okay, so I'm going to use a fold. And my function is going to be called insert and my base accumulator is a simple leaf make sure that compiles okay so if I'm inserting an element into oops a leaf, then I want to basically have a a uh, a node with leaves as its children and a height of zero. Otherwise, I'm inserting into a node. And really quickly, in case it wasn't clear, we're not implementing a balanced binary search tree, which is an actually useful data structure. All we're doing is tossing these things into a tree and making sure, binary tree, making sure it's balanced. So there's, there's really no um, 
this isn't a data structure that you would ever use. You can't search it at all. <laughs> um, but uh, it is balanced still. I'll give it that. Um, so, seems like we want to just inspect the height of our children. And if they differ, they're going to differ only but you know, by a by at most one, insert it into the smaller one. Otherwise, if they're equal, then just arbitrarily pick, I'll say left. You know, I'm gonna go back to using pseudocode here, just so this is a little more clear. And that is pretty much it. So let's write a function that returns the height of a tree. And that function has type signature tree of a to integer. So let's match on all constructors. So a leaf doesn't really have a height. Um, makes sense to just make its height zero. And we pattern match against the node constructor. Its height is given to us. We don't care about its children. See if that compiles. Of course it doesn't. I have pseudocode still in here. <clears throat> so we need to recursively call insert. And then this becomes our new node. Our, I'm sorry, our new left. So we're going to rebuild the tree with some new height val and right stays the same. For now I'm just going to call this height. Otherwise, build up a node with some height and the same left and same value and insert x into right. So we got a compiling, but this doesn't work quite yet because I need to modify height. So what happens when I insert an element into the left child of a node? Well, its height might increase. It might not. Um, it could be the second of two uh, children, in which case the, the overall height of it and all of its parents is going to stay the same. So, I kind of want to do this in a two-step process. First, insert x into left, then get its height after doing that insertion. And so for that reason, I'm going to use a let. In. And now I can simply call tree height on new left. Make sure that compiles and do the same thing right here. Okay. I think that's it. Let's try it out. Oops. Okay, so a one element tree has height zero, that's what we expected. Leaves as its children 
O O. Um, this should have a height of one. Oops. Uh, oh, that is because after recalculating the children's heights, of course, add one to them. So now we see the root node has a height of one and it has a left child, which has a height of zero, and then no right child. And this should give us a node of height one. So looks like that's another bug. Um, this should have basically a, a root node and a left child and a right child, but it looks like it has a left child, which also has a left child. So let's figure out what's going on here. Um, I'm inserting into the left twice, which means it's not true that tree height left is less than or equal to, or I'm sorry, it is true that tree height left is less than or equal to tree height right. So after inserting one two nodes such that I have a root node and a left child. What are my heights? Well, I'm evaluating my left height to be zero because um, it was inserted um, right here because previously the left child was a leaf. And down here I'm calculating the right child's height as zero as well. So it is true that zero is less than or equal to zero and this is because I guess zero is a poor choice for the height of a leaf. In other words, if I have a left child which has one node but its height is really zero because it doesn't have any children and a right child which is a leaf, I want that leaf to have something less than zero as a height. Seems like negative one is a is a appropriate choice. Let's try recompiling one more time. And now we see that um, this three node tree has height one like it should with one left child and one right child. Um, so that's all. Thanks for watching.